Welcome class, Kingdom citizens, loyal subscribers, and new people. How are you doing today? My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek of the 21st century. And today I just want to share with you some things that I'm working on in the finance geek ministry. If you're brand new or you've been following me for a little bit, the finance geek ministry is the part of my business that is simply giving, right? All the things that you see me do online, the coaching, the consulting, the different products and services that I'm either selling or teaching or educating about, there's a part of that where there's paid services. People pay me, right, for my time, coaching, et cetera, et cetera, or they're paying for products and services. Then in the background, low key for the last four years, in addition to building up this business, I've also been doing a ministry which is focused around serving moms, single moms, divorced moms, widows, just moms in general across the United States that are looking to level up their personal finances, right? They want to put themselves in a better position overall to help their children be a contributing member to society. They want to regain their authority in the household. They want to walk in their purpose. They want to transition from having to work to wanting to work and then working for purpose right so the finance geek ministry is or has been focusing on lower income individuals so if you're a single dad or if you're just a male in general and you're making low income this is also for you but i'm just letting you know what my target focus is my mission my values purpose is focusing on moms right but it doesn't exclude anybody else. If you're poor, busted, broke, backs against the wall, you're on your last leg, your negative cash flow, zero cash flow, break even, whatever it is, terrible financial decisions, my YouTube channel, the free content, the ministry that I have will get you to the next level, right? It is doing everything in its power and my power to get you to the next level. It's just a matter of you wanting to do the work that is involved. It destroys the different barriers of gaining access to the information via paying for it. So the Finance Geek Ministry does not require money. It is a self-sustaining ministry. It is a self-supporting ministry. It does not need money from poor people, broke people to survive. It's sustainable from the other streams of incomes that I've been able to generate and from other givers, other philanthropists, other contributors that have said love your mission Denzel love what you're doing I want to be a part of that here's financial support here's checks in the mail here's the cash app here's the Zelle here's the Venmo here's you know me just buying your program for someone else to have so you can bless them a multitude of that over the last four years has been able to create this self-sustaining type of a ministry to now be able to break down the barriers in terms of access to this high level type of information access to financial consulting coaching etc etc all of the things right so let's direct our attention to the board just giving you the breakdown of what the united states considers poverty right the 2022 poverty guidelines is something that i looked up on google to determine okay what is actually considered poor according to the government now i have my own standard of what's considered poor or broke right and in my opinion it's anything under 30k why do i say that because i've lived my life mostly in this realm right under 30k a year revenue parents under you know mom somewhere around 30 40k and your paycheck to paycheck basically right now that's not excluding other folks who are making six figures or high five figures and you feel broke right or you're living paycheck to paycheck, negative cash flow, break even, whatever it is. So it's not excluding you guys either. It's just showing you here's who I'm focused on, right? Here's who I'm looking to attract, right? Because it truly doesn't matter how much money you make. It's about how you steward. It's about how you manage. It's about how you keep what you do make, become a good steward over it. Now you can be trusted with more, right? And by improving the income while maintaining those good habits it's a recipe for financial freedom my friend okay no arguments there so this is just showing you the, the guidelines right what the government says you know if you're single making around thirteen thousand five hundred ninety dollars your your poverty right you're poor okay a family of two making only eighteen thousand a year you're poor family of three 
23,000. Family of four, 27,000. You're poor. My finance geek standard, gross income, anything under 30K, whether you're single, family of two, single mom with two, three kids, anything under 30K, you're poor, in my opinion, right? You're broke, right? It's tough. There's whether you're living in the city or the outer city, whatever state you're in, listen, under 30K a year is not somewhere you want to stay. So what is the intent here? The, the intent is to help you find opportunities to increase your skills, gifts, and talents that you already been given, that you've already been gifted with since birth. They're skills, gifts, and talents that you have. And all I want you to do is get you in a position where we can share and market those skills, gifts, and talents, get paid at a higher amount in the marketplace, combined with financial coaching, consulting, financial strategies, good financial habits, recipe for financial freedom in a, what, five to seven year window? Even if you did it in 10, I don't think you'd be mad, right? If you're 40 years old and you hit financial freedom by 50, you're not gonna be upset with me. My goal is to try and get it within five to seven years, no matter what the age is, whether I'm dealing with an 18 year old or an 88 year old, five to seven years is the goal to achieve financial freedom. Even if we fail miserably and do it in 10, I don't think you'll be upset with me unless you're the 88 year old. And by then, if you're still rocking in, in this land in 88, I'm sorry, I just wasn't born in your time. 26 years old, didn't get a chance to reach you. So I got to you much later in the game, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles the the poor right or the broke folks people who lack knowledge will perish okay bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge so if i can put myself in a position to gain more knowledge despite my age surrender what i think i know about money surrender what i think i know about the economy surrender what i think i know about scarcity and not enough money being in the marketplace i don't have to argue any of those things I just look at the numbers, right? That's, that's, that's my approach. I just wanna look at your numbers, put me to work, 26 years old, healthy as can be, put me to work and let's go have some fun, right? Let's go achieve financial freedom, solve 90% of your problems, then we can focus on the real problems, the financial traumas that you faced when you were six years old, the, the abandonment, the abuse, the domestic violence you experienced, the, you know, obstacles and challenges the, the the real inner core stuff the faith the spirituality that's the real stuff once we get past the numbers right but in the meantime if you're all focused on the numbers and then you're complaining right and you're doing this and you're not doing you're not positioning yourself you're not acquiring the right information the right knowledge you're sitting on the couch watching game of thrones walking dead housewives of atlanta and all these different things i mean lack of knowledge you will perish pretty simple right i don't want to perish i don't want to see you perish but it's your decision at the end of the day so with that being said here are the guidelines here's what's going on here's who i'm looking to target I'm looking to target people who want to change they want to improve they want to get better that's how you found my videos that's how you found other people's videos and you're taking those necessary steps now with that what the finance geek ministry has been able to do over the last four years right i created a seven step process in this seven step process, it's simply exchanging social currency for financial coaching. Again, this process, no money is required, but work is required. That's my slogan. No money is required in the finance geek ministry, but work is required in the finance geek ministry in the kingdom. Work is required. Okay. Don't need money. Just so need to be willing to work, right? That is a mandate. That is a protocol. That is a regulation. That is a law. You must work. Okay. What does work mean, Denzel? Work means to become who you are, right? That might just have been a paradigm shift for those of you who are thinking what work is, right? Change your definition, change your way of thinking around the word work. Work means to become who you are, right? So if you're becoming who you are and you're walking in your purpose, then you will have abundance and be a cheerful giver. My goodness, recipe, the recipe, love it. So the seven step process, right, involves you exchanging your social currency. That's likes, subscribes, that's comments, that's shares, that's testimonials, that's reviews, right? And then a combination of getting your numbers in line, sending me your numbers, filling out the spreadsheet, right? Letting me know your goals, story, all that good stuff. 
And then I exchange that info for my time, which people pay me for. And I'm giving it to you so that I can pull you up from the dirt. Okay. If you're in this, if you're in this category here, you're, you're low income, right? Broke, poor, busted. Listen, I already know society has already written you off. Your family's written you off. Friends written you off. They don't see you. They don't see the potential you have, but a stranger like me sees the potential. But do you see it and do you want it? That's the key. I can't force that. I can't inspire that. I can't motivate that. That's got to come from within. In terms of accessing the information, boom, that's where I come in. Happy to serve, my friend. Happy to serve. So that's one of the things that Finance Geek Ministry has been able to do. Second thing is created a course, Finance Geek Ministry course. In this course, it's going to teach you about jurisdiction. It's going to teach you about the law. It's going to teach you how money works. Okay. And on top of that course, it's a digital evergreen type of a course, never goes out of style, always remains relevant. Then there's something called the Ecclesia Gathering. Okay. The Ecclesia Gathering is simply us coming together in a group community like setting via Zoom virtually, roughly two times a month, recorded sessions that you can watch the replay, right? And you're able to share your ideas. You're able to express your pain, struggles, obstacles, challenges. And then in addition to me providing support, you're now getting the full backing and support of the entire Finance Geek Ministry. It's not just one guy. It's a multitude of people in this ministry, right? So those are the three main things. And then there's the YouTube channel, which is just the content. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime to sit there and watch material, exchange Netflix, Hulu, Disney, TV, Jeopardy, news, exchange all of that for content that's going to better your life. You throw me in there along with some other content creators to improve your overall lifestyle. My goodness. Recipe, my friend. Recipe. So those are the four things that are in place. All you have to do, reach out directly, right? Description links are in the description below to get a hold of me, to contact me, right? You hit my website. All the stuff is there below. Once you've done that, you're now in my process. You're now going to receive additional value and information to take those next steps. Two things that I'm working on, right, is seeking out other leaders, right, that want to be a part of this ministry. So if you're a leader, you're a content creator, you're an expert in a certain field, you know, like Denzel, I like what you're doing. Here's an area that I specialize in that I think will benefit what you're doing here. Hey, I'm open to collaboration. I have a whole form for that as well. Contact me. Let's have a conversation. Let's make it happen. The other thing that I'm working on more specifically is right here, collaboration with other coaches and career specialists, right? So my specialty is financial coaching, consulting, teaching, educating on financial concepts, financial strategies that you can implement into your finances, right? That usually helps with the bottom line, the cash flow, the expenses, and I touch on increasing income a little bit right? Not too much. It's not my strong suit. So having a career coach, if you don't know what this type of role is, this is someone that literally brings out the skills, gifts, and talents that you have and puts it very cleanly in what we call a resume, right? Or an email, you know, uh, situation or being able to extract who you are as a person, your personality, and connect you to a corporation, a career, an opportunity that you can go into that you would be, say, qualified for, you fit the personality for that role, and that could jump your income tremendously. So if you combined a career coach, right, with a financial coach teaching you the fundamental foundational principles and habits of good stewardship, plus increasing your income via that career coach, helping you actually be the one that the employer chooses. So when you submit 50 applications, 100 applications, you're not hearing crickets. Rather, you're getting a bunch of companies wanting to hire you for your talent because of the way you presented yourself, right? So you combine that with the ministry, oh, another recipe, my goodness. So I've done some market research and what I'll do is share my screen because whether I actually um, collaborate with these people or not, I'm still going to promote them because when I do market research, these are the people that are popping up, right? So if they pop up, then they must be doing something right. 
if they're ranking number one on Google, number one on YouTube, different social media platforms, they must be doing something correct, right? Some type of good marketing strategy, whatever it is. So I have a few people that I have found personally. And again, whether they work with me or not, whether they partner with me or not, it's, it's totally fine it, because I want you to get access to the information. You may, you re, after watching this video, you may have never heard of a career coach before. You don't even know what the heck they do. And so like, you, you're like, what is a career coach, right? There's a whole industry of people that are helping people like you get higher paying jobs, higher paying careers, just by tweaking that resume, tweaking that email, tweaking your interview, how you speak, how you present, how you dress, how you appear, all that good stuff, right? So let me take a few minutes just to share my screen and show you who I'm looking at right now, who I think has a lot of potential in the space, and then people who are just simply dominating in this space. So here we are. When I started doing my market research, I just typed in career coach on YouTube, see who pops up, right? See who's dominating in the space, see who's, you know, really putting in the work, putting in the time, all that good stuff. And the first person I found was uh, Linda, 945,000 subscribers. And when I looked through her material, it's so focused on career coaching, right? Finding the right opportunities, interviews, what to say in your emails, um, what to say during the interview, after the interview, before the interview, how to prepare. I mean, you name it. It goes on and on and on. Ton of value here. If you're someone that is at a job, right? And you want to up level your skills, land a solid career, maybe transition into a new career, transition to something that you actually love to do. Here's somebody that I, I think is a no brainer. And again, when I compare to some of the other coaches in the, in the marketplace, they don't come anywhere near the amount of following and the amount of content. The thing that I like most about this person is they've, they've kind of just stuck. They've stayed in the career coaching space and they really didn't go all over the place in, in all these other you know topics that she could easily cover and get a lot of views on. But she just kind of stayed really clear. And you know how to get your dream job right career right job job career job job like it's just it's on and on guys like this infinite amount of content here right and she's continuously active like she just posted today as i'm recording this video right so pretty consistent in the content output and i'm pretty sure she's on a bunch of other social media platforms as well probably linkedin without a doubt all that good stuff next person i found is this lady right here, Cindy Makita, right? This is someone I actually met in person in Miami. So I am trying to build a relationship there, possibly meet in person, discuss some really unique ideas. Based on her content, she's a career coach, but then she also touches on how to become a career coach and how to sell your program. So she does have other topics that she is specializing. So it's like a multitude of topics and you'll kind of notice that, you know, how to grow on LinkedIn, how to grow here, grow there. So I'm not sure how focused she is on career coaching compared to the Linda lady, right? But I have seen her work ethic. I've seen her speak and just solid individual. Then the next person I found was uh, Christina and same thing. Um, when I went to her website, right? If we go to her website, it says Christina is a New York based creative career coach and recruiter focusing on helping creative talent land jobs at America's most prestigious companies. So that seems like her main thing, but on the YouTube channel, she does dive into so many different types of like side hustles, different income streams. She talks about her journey and things like that. But when you hit her website, actually to reach out to her, it seems like this is her main thing that she's focused on. So I like that. Um, I put her on the list of someone I'm reaching out to. Then there's this lady here who hasn't really posted anything in a while on YouTube, right? Two years ago was the last time she posted anything. But when I went on her uh, Instagram, it does look a little bit more active over there. She does have a bigger following on Instagram. And when I hit her website, the website's pretty clean, right? If we hit her website, this doesn't look like an old site, right? She's in the press. This looks, you know, relatively updated, new, clean, right? And pretty clear in terms of what she does right coaching one-on-one -on -one career coaching right signature program career coaching so it still looks like her main thing even though she's not too big on the on the content creation side of things and so there's jenny christina cindy makita and linda those are the four top people that rank 
when I typed in career coaching. And then if we just go here, career coaching, now your feed might be different, obviously, depending on what, how the algorithm works and who's in your local area, things like that. There was this channel right here, career insights, but it, it wasn't too clear in terms of what their focus is. So then there's this guy, Bill, I didn't hit his work yet, but it does look like he is, you know, in that teaching it. Then there's this lady right here, Louisa, who also is doing career coaching, but then also teaching you how to build your coaching business, All right? So it does a bit of both. Letitia Styles, pretty interesting, right? A lot of women in this space, pretty interesting. Not really seeing too many guys. There's this dude here, but I, I don't know. Um, bit confusing, well, whatever it is they're doing, covering. Um, then there's this right here, Morning Brew, don't know. Natalie, right? Productivity guy. So, you know, you do your research, you see who comes up, who you like, who you like to work with and go from there. But just so you know, the, this is who I'm looking at. This is who I'm looking to potentially collaborate with inside of the finance geek ministry. And, and the way that I'm looking at it or the way that I think would be a mutual beneficial relationship is just me creating content with them, going through their process, figuring out who's really just like their main thing is career coaching that's how i'm going to narrow these people down is what's your main thing right is it career coaching or is it building a business or is it help people increase income like what's the what's the main thing that i can send my loyal clients my loyal audience to once i figure that out then it looks like collaboration virtual events workshops q a's right nothing crazy it helps them because it's more content i'm promoting them so more eyeballs are looking their way helps me because more content for myself builds the channel up and it helps the finance geek ministry do what it needs to do and do it even better right so there's win-win there and then on the back end maybe there's you know either a partnership down the line maybe sharing the stage who knows i i just see a really good connection in terms of career coach with a financial coach and just cross-pollinating the the people that we serve i see a bunch of potential there where it's like look as a career coach you're not talking on management personal financial management financial strategies and skills then as a financial coach and consultant you're not talking on really how to make more money or how to increase your position get a promotion or help someone outline an interview resume that's like that's not your skills right so being able to collaborate in this environment today where a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs have bought into the philosophy of collaboration over competition. I bought into it. I've certainly been doing it. The Finance Geek Ministry seeks to do that as well and really just glorify the Father in all things. At the end of the day, the end game is kingdom. That's how I let people know that's my intent. The end game is kingdom. Even if you don't go that way, if I can help you with 90% of your problems, which is money, hey, I think that's a win, right? And then we can talk philosophical theology and spiritual and all that good stuff. But it doesn't necessarily, you're not forced. Nobody's forcing you to believe in anything, right? This is a matter of what is your problem? What's your problem? Your problem is finances. You spend more than what you make. You're not making enough. You're paycheck to paycheck, backs against the wall, zero cash flow, negative cash flow. Okay, let me help you, right? If you're willing to do the work, right? Comma, if you are willing to do the work you shall be served in the finance geek ministry so quick video nothing too long you know how i usually talk for hours and hours so i will wrap it up here my name is denzel rodriguez personal finance geek of the 21st century have a wonderful day god bless we'll be talking soon